Ding dong. Hello. Hi, Joe. I'm Chad with Central Cooling and Heating. Hi, Chad. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So what brings us out here today? Well, right now we have a problem with our furnace. It's not working. Okay. And I'm looking to possibly uh, get some prices on a new furnace. Okay. Um, so you're just looking to get prices today? Well, I mean, I'd like to see what you give me what the prices would be, obviously. Okay. So what are you going to get accomplished? I want to get a new furnace put in. Okay. All right. We'll take a look at it. Yeah, let's take a look. <laughs> it's over here. Right there. Wow. It's been for 2585i. Doesn't look like that old. How old is it? About 14 years. Okay. Are we getting this serviced every year? Oh, yeah, I get it done every year from Acme, a normal guy. All right. Why aren't they out here right now? Oh, I don't want to get into that, Chad. It's kind of uh, personal stuff that happened. Okay. Well, off the record, what would, uh, what would you say? Off the record? Yeah. Why do you have to know that information? I just want to make sure I don't make the same mistake. Mm. If it was that bad. That makes sense. Um, but off the record, I had this guy here from Acme last time. First of all, I condemned the furnace here. Mm -hmm. And then uh, it, he condemned the furnace. It was a little bit suspicious when he said he wouldn't put the furnace back together for me. He left it all unassembled. And then about 20 seconds later, a salesman shows up in my house while the guy's still telling me about the furnace crack. Okay. I just thought it was a little creepy that all of a sudden they had this guy parked around the corner, shows up 20, 20 minutes later after he can tell about that part of it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And he starts talking about how he recommends this new variable speed, and he recommends that, said that the, give me a, the, the, the Binford brand is the best brand of all, and, you can search the globe, but he said he could meet or beat any deal and things like that. And I just thought he was a little turned off by the whole process. That was so I said, well, guys, let me go ahead and just, uh, he gave me some prices, and I said, well, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up and give me a chance to look, think, consider all this stuff. And then he said, you know, if you're going to try and go cheap, you, you get what you pay for, he told me. I'm like, Who? I didn't say I didn't say about going cheap. I just want to look, think about it, consider my options. He goes, what options? He goes, we're the best company in the area. What do you, what are you looking for options for? And I'm like, jeez. So I, I said, I think I might ask you, ask you guys to leave. So I had basically throw them throw out of my house. That was a little bit, felt uncomfortable, you know? It sounds a little uncomfortable. It was, it was terrible. A little pushy, you know, I didn't like the pushiness. Right, right. Mm. Well, I mean, I'll take a look at it and then I'll, I'll come up with a couple of different options for you to look at. Oh, so you give options then? I do. That's what yeah. I'm asking a guy for, you know? Okay. I just want to make sure that, you know, they gave you what they thought. Yeah. I'll just have you look at what I have. Yeah. See what makes sense. You could ask. So, Joe, I mean, with that kind of service, are you sure you, want, maybe, you sure you just want to go with them and give them a second? Maybe just, just go with them if that's your company like that. I mean, with Joe, with the, the kind of service that they provide, it seems like they're pretty quick. You know, if you have a problem, they come right out. Well, here before I ask for them, I didn't even ask for the guy. That's some quick service. It is. It's too quick, I think. Yeah. So I said, Joe, you sure you want to give him a second chance or just go with you them? sure you just don't want to go with them? No, I'm not going with them. I would never use those guys. It was just too too slimy, too slippery. Okay. That's why I, call, that's why I actually started searching around and I got your name. All right. Well, how'd you hear about us? Oh, I'm glad you asked me. It was uh, Ruth Kruger from the church. She uh, She's a receptionist at the church, and she told me about you guys. Yeah, I know Ruth. I go there every Sunday. She just said you guys are top notch. Yeah. Yeah. We do. I mean, that's great to hear from her. Yeah. Um, we, we like to hear good things from other customers. Oh yeah, she says you guys are neat, you're clean, you get the job done, you're good people. So what else did she say? She said that uh, Central is not the cheapest, but you're the best. Central cooling and heating is the best, she said. That's great to hear. She might be exaggerating a little bit, but... Oh no, no, she said <laughs> top notch, the best of all. Uh, matter of fact, she said, uh, what's that, Rich? Yeah. I guess uh, she, used to, she used to diaper that guy. <laughs> Just take care of this baby. TMI. Yeah. That was too much information, probably. <laughs> she said he was, he was a mess messy little boy. <laughs> but uh, she likes him because of that. She, she swears Rich is a great guy. Yeah. Well, yeah. do you mind if I talk to her on Sunday when I see her? <laughs> I'll, I'll tell her that you you said good things. You tell her on Sunday? I would do that. Did you see Rich? Did you still you hang out with him? Uh, every now and then. Tell him to bring the baby powder, okay? <laughs> <laughs> tell, him Ruth Crooker, tell him Ruth Crooker has, uh, she said she remembers him, okay? Uh, I will do so. It's good stuff. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, it's good stuff. There. So she said you guys are great. Yeah, so. Good. 
Um, so obviously we're we're well, here in the middle of the summer. Yeah, I mean, this, uh, you got a cracked heat exchanger. Mm -hmm. What's uh, what's your plan? Uh, I want to get a new furnace put in. Okay. At the same time. So, uh, so what do you got there to fix this thing? Is it able to be fixed? Yeah. You don't like what you're saying there. No, I don't like what I'm saying. Along with the cracked heat exchanger, you have a duct distribution design flaw, which oh, explains no. why it's not comfortable on the, between the two floors. Can anything be done to fix this thing? Oh, we can come, come up with some solutions to fix it. Well, there are actually six ways of solving this issue. Hmm. You want to show it to me? Would you like to see them? Let's see it, yeah, I want to get this thing done. So here's the first one. Keep Julie, Wyatt, and Karen comfortable. Mm -hmm. This is going to put in a variable drive furnace, more consistent throughout the house. Mm. Um, I'm going to keep you more comfortable, less temperature swings throughout the house. I don't know if you've noticed that. Oh yeah, that's why it's always like five degrees hot, hot, hotter on the second floor. There you go. So this is going to help resolve that. Oh, wow. We're going to put ultraviolet germicidal lamps in the ductwork. Mm -hmm. It's going to help Wyatt breathe a lot easier um, to, to kill any bacteria that might be floating through the air. That's really great. All right, we've got a humidifier, humidification system. It's going to spread humidity throughout the entire house, which will help Karen with her eczema no matter which room she's in. Wow. Okay. This also comes with a five-year. Oh, don't forget the ductwork thing. We're gonna, oh yeah, we're gonna replace all your ductwork. You're not just have one main duct. You're gonna have two. One's gonna be for the serve the first floor. One's gonna serve the second floor. So now you're not gonna see that inconsistency between the two floors. You're like a wizard of comfort. And the best thing is you're gonna be able to control each floor from either your phone or at each thermostat on one floor. Wow. Yeah. How's that sound? Good. What kind of warranty comes with that? So we've got a five-year, can't write a check warranty, all right? It also comes with five years of service. Mm -hmm. So we'll come out here twice a year and service the system for you. Wow, that's good. Five years. Wow, that sounds good. How much are you talking about for all that stuff? What do you think it would cost? I have no idea. Take a guess. I'm terrible with money. If I said it was 50000 what would you say? I figure that's about right. Well, I should charge more than that. How much is it? It's only thirty-two thousand. Oh, jeez, <laughs> it's not bad. What should we do? Can I tell you a little secret? Please do. I had another company out here, and they're like at five thousand dollars. The other company that was here before, mm -hmm. the guy who the pushy sales guy thing. Yeah. I mean, you're not at all. You're way better than he is. Look, I mean, I'm not trying to sell you here, <laughs> but let's face it, your price is. Five times higher, literally. So he was going to offer you the same options for five thousand dollars? Hell no, we didn't okay. have anything close to this. So what should we do? You know, I'm just not Mr. Got Rocks here. You know what I'm saying? I'm not a Rockefeller or even a Vanderbilt. We do have these lower options down below. Less cheap, or they're cheaper options. No, I like the top one. What do you like about it? Well, it gives me the five-year warranty and five-year service and humidification. I like the dual ductwork and the Wi-Fi temperature control you mentioned before. I like all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So it's good stuff. So what should we do? Is it, can you do anything to bring us down? How about if you do this down for like 25000 Get down closer to 25000 I can do one, you bet, one better than that, Joe. What's that? I've got an option right here for 25000 Oh, yeah. I don't. Want, I like to. I have to have everything. Though I don't want to take anything away. Though. Okay. So then, what should we do? Um. What should you do? Do you expect me to do something today on this? I expect you to make a decision that's best for you and your your family. You know. Yes. What should we do? I just need to think about this, Chad. Well, what do you need to think about? What is it that you like that, that you want to take some time to think about? Just some time. I need time to think. Okay. I'm here for the next couple of hours. You do it, you just like, it's not more, it's not more than a thousand to spend, you know? I just wasn't, just trying to get adjusted to this money part of it. I understand. It is a, it's a lot of money. It's, it's a high quality installation. It is. It's, it's gonna, close. like you said, it's gonna solve all the issues that, that we <clears throat> talked about. I can see that. So what should we do?
Can I give you talk to my wife and give you a call back later? I mean, she's not in town. She's in Europe. And she's still flying home tonight, so I can't get a hold of her today. Can I just do something like give her a call to talk to her tomorrow and give you a call like over the weekend? Well, you said she's in the healthcare, right? Mm -hmm. So everything that we talked about, we designed this around the care of your family, correct? We did. So what option do you think she would choose? She would go to fifty thousand dollars if she could. Okay. That's how she is. So what should we do? Um, is that the one you want me to buy? Like, what do you recommend? I recommend that you make the choice yourself. It'd be a conflict of interest if I told you what to do. I just provide you with the options and let you make the choice hmm. that best suits you. I like your moxie. Thank you. So what should we do? Top option, 32377 Are you sure? Let's do that one. You do have the ones down lower. I don't want that crap. I want the good one. Okay. Would you like to pay for check, cash, credit card? Here's American Express. If I could do American Express, what would you, do? What would you say? Let's just do it. Okay. Right. Nice job there, Chad. Nice job.